Every now and then at AvWeb, we're privileged to see some things in the world of aviation that other people just don't get to see. Today, we're going to show you one of those things. Believe it or not, but what you're seeing here is deliberate. An F-16 tumbling out of control on purpose. The footage was made available to us after a visit to Edwards Air Force Base in the Southern California desert. There, test pilots from the 416th Flight Test Squadron do with F-16s the things that could get combat pilots killed. It's the job of the 416th to make sure that doesn't happen. One of the men involved in that work is test pilot Major Desmond Deuce Brophy. We sat with him and asked him to explain what you just saw. One of the things that we uh, do here at the 416th Flight Test Squadron is we evaluate upgrades to the software and hardware of the flight control computer of the F-16. In one of the test programs we're running right now, we've upgraded the software, and in order to evaluate the software, we take the airplane out and we intentionally depart it from controlled flight, which is to say, take the airplane up, the airplane up to and beyond its limits. The reason we're doing that is to assess if the airplane does depart from controlled flight, and if it does so, to make sure that the flight controls have enough authority to be able to regain controlled flight. In one of the missions that we had last week, the test pilot flew a test point which involved uh, a test point in the transonic region, so high subsonic, above 35,000 feet. This is an area in which the aircraft is prone to departure if mishandled. In the particular test point uh, in question, uh, in what happened was the aircraft was rolled to the right and a very rapid onset of the stick was made, so essentially an abrupt, sharp aft stick input. Now the test aircraft in question was loaded with asymmetric missiles, which is to say it had more missiles on the left wing than it had on the right. And this is a situation that one could find oneself in in combat after having employed several missiles. What happened on this particular test is something that we expected to happen. The aircraft departed from controlled flight. The way it did so was that with the rapid aft input of stick, we had a very high buildup of angle of attack, or alpha, However, coincident with this, due to the asymmetry of the missiles involved, some beta or side slip was created as well. This essentially was the same thing as putting in a boot full of right rudder in an area that's already prone to departure. The end result was that the aircraft departed in yaw in, at over 120 degrees per second to the right. So essentially what we have happening is, by simple application of a rapid aft stick, we end up with an intense high yaw rate to the right. The airplane departed from controlled flight. This was as expected. What we were looking to make sure would happen was that the flight controls would have enough authority after the departure to recover the airplane, which they did, and everything was fine. The only problem came in that in the post-departure gyrations, the aircraft exceeded the aircraft's asymmetric G or rolling G limits, not due to anything that the pilot was doing, simply due to the aircraft's inherent behavior. As a result of that, the test team declared an emergency and recovered the aircraft, taking the safe approach and precautious approach that we always take in flight test. The good news is that in subsequent investigations after the fact, we were able to look at the actual gross weight of the aircraft at the time of the departure and determine that we were at a fairly low gross weight. The effect of that is that the rolling G limits were actually higher than we thought they were at the time of the departure. Result, no overstress, test program is continuing on as we speak. Avweb.com would like to thank the good people at Edwards Air Force Base Flight Test Center, the good men and women of the 416th Test Squadron, and Major Desmond Deuce Brophy for inviting us into their world and giving us a glimpse into the daily life of a test pilot. This has been Glenn Pugh for Avweb.com. Thanks for watching.